All right guys, so Susanna gave you the inside tour and now I'm gonna give you the outside tour of Tandy. So again, uh, Tandy is a 2021 uh, East to West Tandara 385 MB, so it's a mid bunk. Uh, they do make an outdoor kitchen model. We didn't get that, we're not really into the outdoor kitchen thing. Um, but what we are into is lots and lots of storage. So Tandy comes with a very large pass-through storage area, which I was really excited about. Uh, to be able to actually get inside and, and get stuff so lots of space and we're we're just starting to organize things so we're adding things like this more ride spool yeah real spool uh for our 50 amp cable uh it makes it so much easier we're working on doing some organization with some hooks and uh we're we're just going to keep adding more but so we've got this space we've got another small space here that, uh, I mean, if you want to add a small fridge, I guess you could, but this is going to be all like sports equipment and stuff once we actually get our stuff out of Casper. So Tandy comes with four slides. So you've got the living room slide, a kitchen slide, a bunk room slide, and our bedroom slide. So you'll see that as we move around. Um, so the Tandara comes with two 7,000 pound axles. And here, come in here, Susanna. I'll take that real quick to make the ride a little bit better and I'm sorry it's a little dirty but it does come standard with the more ride CRE 3000 so that adds three three more inches of play uh, which helps make the ride a little bit smoother uh, if you go look at a Tandara at a dealership and we looked at multiple across the USA like every one of the dealers says oh the big thing is Asdell 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 so Asdell is actually the siding, and Asdell is a, uh, it's a mix of polypropylene and fiberglass. And what this does is gives you twice the insulation factor for half the weight, which is really cool. So it's also water resistant, so no mold, no mildew. And uh, it, it does, I think it's called just like basically sound deadening. So instead of like the vibrations that you get through your, your tin and sticks, RVs and other models, this thing is actually really, really quiet inside, which is cool. All right, so the back of Tandy does not come with a bumper. So if you're looking for a place to put your sewer hoses, I'll show you in a minute what we did. It does come with a hitch. So we're gonna have our bikes back there. You got a big open window and the ladder to the roof. All right, so, and then in here, you have the wet bay, which again, this was exciting for us because we didn't, haven't had this on any of our previous RVs. So everything goes through here and then for those of you who are really in to the whole dumping and stuff, if that's your job, you're probably gonna get really excited about this. A lot of uh, RVs that have a galley tank and a gray tank have two separate uh, sewer lines. Not this one, it all goes through one. So everything connects and goes right down one pipe. And all the poles for it here. are right here. And they're super easy. This is the kitchen. Fast. It's just gray water, folks. <laughs> but easy on off poles. Yeah, so much easier. So we had to, you know, have two hoses and a Y hooked up with Casper. Now we just have one hose. And then Tandy does come. You get two of the larger propane tanks. So one on this side, one on the other side. Uh, and then we actually added these Camco. There are their propane gauges and leak detectors. Another thing that, cause Tandy's all new, right? All the Tandaras are brand new. So they are, they moved over to a BAL auto leveling system. So Tandy does have the means to move herself around. So you've got auto mode and you just hit auto level. Okay. And she takes care of the rest or you can do it all. Oops. Stop home. You could do it all manually and just gauge where that's at and move it around yourself. All right, and again with more storage. So you've got the front bay here, which we're gonna have a little bit better organized. But for now, you know, we've got tools and stuff like that in here. It does house two batteries. So it came with one, but we actually added a 175 watt solar panel up on the roof. So we have a second battery. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna show you, uh, like I talked about a few minutes ago, 
uh, there's no bumper on Tandy, so where do you put the sewer hoses? I did not want them inside the storage area. So I found a product on Amazon. Uh, it's just, a, it's a Volterra adjustable hose carrier. So they have different sizes, but we went with the 50 to 94 inch model and actually got two of them and they secured nicely underneath. So I've got the cap off right now, but that's where everything goes and they've been very sturdy through some very cold and some very bumpy roads. All right, so that is the inside and outside of Tandy. And we're gonna have a lot of videos coming up that basically this whole season is really kind of surrounding our life in a fifth wheel, mm -hmm. which is big, a little bit different. Uh, we're gonna tell you the good things, some of the bad things, uh, some of the things that um, we'd like to see different. And- uh, Why we did it. Why we did it. That's probably gonna be the next video. Why? Because it was a little crazy for us to buy a fifth wheel. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you hit the subscription button and the notification bell. So you know when the next video is coming out. And remember, life's an adventure. Hop on. Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.